Hello everyone, just a couple days ago I got home from filming season six of BattleBots Go Copperhead and this box was on my doorstep. Um, Hexbug reached out to me and sent me a couple new BattleBots toys. So apparently in this video I'm going to unbox this and show you what they are. So let's go ahead and do that. So before we see what's inside, I do have to say that uh, Hexbug did provide this for me for review, I guess. Um, they're not compensating me in any way financially for this review. I'm just doing it out of the goodness of my own heart. So we open this up and it looks something like this. I don't know if this is like a special review copy for you know people like me but it has this kind of thing over top of it and the actual stuff is down below of course i took a look um, but this is the new BattleBots arena max and the BattleBots rivals platinum both of these are trademarks so they went to some time to really um, buy into that whole platinum thing and max thing i don't really know that much about the BattleBots um, hexbug toys is there like different levels of the rivals? I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's what this looks like. We pull this off and ooh. So we now get the Arena Max Beat the Legend. And so in here we have some glare. Uh, we've got Tombstone. We have this other kind of generic thing. I can't really read this stuff upside down, but you can read all of this. And this is like a little um, generic thing to where we have like a kind of a sow topper to it. It looks like we have a plow um, drum over there. So that's kind of neat. And then underneath that, let me set this aside. Underneath that, we have the Rivals Platinum. And um, this is actually Sawblaze and Whiplash. Um, as we all know, those are two very popular rivals at BattleBots, apparently. Um, so let's look at the back of this. I really don't know how to do unboxing videos. Like, should I just take still pictures of this and have you guys read everything? But um, apparently we have, you know, action and they're rechargeable, so that's kind of cool. I don't know, let's just open this up and see what these things do. So let's start with the Arena, or the Arena Max, my apologies. Um, there's gonna be a lot of glare until I get this plastic away. Um, but yeah, this just seems pretty cool. You've got, um, you know, your two different bots. Um, apparently sparks can happen. That's um, gonna be interesting to see. We've got the sideboards. All of this looks very, very accurate. So let me open this up. What great low effort videos these are. Just unboxing a toy on camera and playing with it. I wish all my videos were like this. That. And then we have, I guess, the arena pieces under here. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ooh, we got some instructions that explain things a little bit. Uh, let me just kind of uh, figure this out, take all this apart, and see what happens. I've done a fair amount of product development in my day job, but I've never really done anything with toys. And I find the packaging on toys really interesting. Um, everything is solely geared towards displaying the product itself and making it really eye-catching. So it's kind of interesting going through and unboxing this just to see how much of the thought was put into the actual packaging and display of everything. There are a lot of pieces here. Um, this is actually pretty legit. I was expecting this just to be like this tiny little thing, but with all these floor pieces, I think this is actually gonna be much bigger than this shot can handle. So I guess um, I'm gonna install this or put this together off camera and then just kind of show this on my floor because um, it all just kind of snaps together pretty easily. So yeah, let's come back to that. Everything goes together easy enough. I am a little bit concerned about taking this apart and putting it back together multiple times. It does just kind of all snap together, but it's a little tricky to unsnap. So I don't know, keep that in mind, but overall it went together really, really easy in just a few minutes. 
So I've got the arena together. It was pretty simple. It's actually really good sized. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a lot smaller, but it's big as this thing. Yeah, we're about, I guess from the inside, 26 and a half by 26 and a half. So pretty good size, enough room to move everything around. And I was pretty impressed that the hammers are actually the new style hammers. They're this kind of um, diamond shape rather than the old round ones. And look at this. How cool is that? So that's pretty neat. Um, overall, pretty impressed. Um, we've got the tombstone toy and you have the little controller right there, which is very, very small. This is about the same size as the real ones. And okay, that one's for that. And you just kind of move forward, move backwards, spin around, and then that activates the weapon which actually is pretty legit, it kind, of, kind of hurt a little bit. So that's pretty cool. Then you have this other one, which just has all these kind of like little modular attachments to it that kind of snap on and off. So we got a little, I guess, egg beater drum kind of thing. No one should ever design it like that. It's got decidedly less power than the tombstone has, which I think is a bit of a conspiracy. Um, but anyway, it has all these like destructible points which are held in by magnets. Um, the tombstone has them as well. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, overall, very well thought out and the controls are infrared. You've got a little um, diode there and a little receiver on the top. So theoretically, yeah, has a little bit of a hard time driving upside down, which um, is true for a lot of battle bots. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, I guess now we just need to uh, unbox the rival set. So far, looking real nice. Um, the the whiplash looks really nice, feels very solid, and so does the saw blades. I even like the little articulated forks up front, pretty cool. And the remotes have an extra button here, which I'm guessing is for the um, lifter mechanism on these guys. So we just kind of press a button. <laughs> okay, so, ooh, oh, neat. So just one tap just cycles it. That's kind of cool. And I guess the saw blaze works pretty much the same way. Oh, pull these little things out. Oh, it even kind of rears up. Are you kidding me? It even has a little light up front? That is cool. Oh, they can even self-write. I think. Yes. Really neat. So um, let's get a close-up on these since this is way zoomed out. So um, we'll get a close-up and show you all of the toys. So here are the main three bots, Whiplash, Sawblaze, and Tombstone, and they look pretty darn good. They look pretty accurate. I'm not the builder, of course, of any of these. Unfortunately, Copperhead isn't here, sigh. Um, but overall, they look really good. The Sawblaze is especially impressive with all the little features on, hey, calm down. Um, they kind of do that from time to time if they're still on. Um, but yeah, I like the little uh, moving arms. I like the spinning weapons. The wheels are actually accurate. Um, Whiplash actually has these types of wheels where Sawblaze has these big aired tires. So yeah, everything's pretty accurate, even down to the little flamethrower up front with Sawblaze. Pretty impressed. Um, I am not all that impressed with this monstrosity because this is not how anyone would ever design a robot, but I understand this is just simply a toy. Let me go get the rest of the attachments. 
haven't played around with the attachments yet to see which one's like best, but it's, eh, it's a little bit weak. Like this, what, what is this thing? What is this? This, this is just something that wouldn't ever exist in combat, nor would that, or, you know, even this kind of thing. So, eh, someone took a little bit of liberties and made some stuff that, as a builder, just doesn't really look right. Um, this might look kind of cool, I'll have to play with that, but overall, the actual real bots are very nice, and the kind of knockoff thing is exactly what you think. It's like ordering a battle bot from wish.com, so, yeah. I guess the only thing left to do is just kind of get them into the arena and start fighting them. Do like... Turn on the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now do a three, two, one, go. <laughs> Aha! Oh, yay! Yeah! Hey! Hey! Abby Rita! Oh, no! <laughs> the oh! oh! Now it comes down to aggression. Alright, here we go. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> Combat wins. <laughs> Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this little setup. Um, the arena is pretty legit. Um, the robots are really nice and um, very accurate. I think the only downside or disappointment I have is whatever this thing is. It's just it was made by a toy designer, not a BattleBots builder, and it's pretty obvious. It just kind of sticks out and doesn't really feel the same way. It's a lot slower, it's a lot less powerful. It's definitely the one you don't want to play with. You want to play with any of the others. So uh, maybe negative one point for that and negative 1,000 points for not having Copperhead in here. But um, hopefully someday there will be a Copperhead toy. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. The hammers are fun. You got this little thing, which is neat. Um, everything is just kind of fun and accurate, and I think kids would enjoy this. So, um, yeah, this is going to go somewhere in my shop, maybe up on the wall or something like that. Um, so thank you, Hexbug, for sending me this. And, um, yeah, I think if you're looking for a gift for a kid that's in the BattleBots, I think this is pretty obvious. I think they'd be happy with this. And it is really cool to hold the actual version of the robot. I think that's really neat. So, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Check me out on my Facebook page for any updates to my channel, and see you in the next video.